I'm going to redo my doors. And uh, this is very thin, quarter inch. And as you can see, the screws don't bite into it very well. And I want to bring the finish out to here. Bring the plywood up here so all this gap disappears. Cut out the handle. So that means the wood goes here. So when you shut the door on the inside, you're closer to the other door and it'll be a nice finish. There's a hole in the door, as most Dodge people know. And um, I'm going to cut that out. It's going to make that into a cubby. And I'm putting 3 8 plywood because you can screw into it and it holds quite well the screws. I want to build a cargo bar that goes on with a flip down cup holders. So I need this to be stronger and I'm going to use this as a template but just add this extra wood. So this is what I mean by bringing the wood out further because it blocks all this ugly on the inside and then you cut a gap big enough to get your hand in and open your door. It hides this mechanism from the inside, which is good. And I'll wrap the vinyl around so it's finished on this side when you look in. Carpet hides a lot of things. The vinyl's going to be similar, but the carpet does really well. And then the cubby on the side. Basically, I want to build a cargo bar that screws onto my door. This cubby will be part of it. Maybe a shelf on it and below got to stay higher than the floor, so I'll have to figure that all out. Yeah, so that's what I'm going for, this finish here. I just realized that that mechanism is different. This is 76. Different than the 78. It has a pin. So there's the other change. Lots of subtle changes. Some of them not so subtle, but very interesting. Stuff with pink right to the walls. So I will pull that out and look inside. There's no rust because it was stored inside. Not sure what it would do outside because people say you shouldn't put it against the metal. I had this in my 76 and I didn't have any issues. So I'll take the top off, cut one piece, and go from there. Okay, I cut my panel out, used the other one as a template, made it two inches bigger so that the handle can come down. That's my cutout, a little larger in the wood than the hole so it covers the steel edges. And then I'll wrap I think we're gonna wrap it with leather or vinyl I mean and then maybe slat it with a white inch thin piece of wood painted nice and bright so I'll have the blue in the back with a white white panel on 3d kind of getting dark out now so move inside so I cut the 3 8 out and I'm gonna let it soak with a bit of water and some weight in the middle just to give it that help on the bend. By the time I put it up, it should... I, I slit the back a bit too. So we'll see what happens over the next couple days. So meanwhile... I just cut a piece of wood four inches. And I put it in snugly and not too snug so it pushes out the outside but I put a couple screws through the holes that were already there to hold it and then from there I'll put the side up the side up and finish the back with some vinyl shouldn't take too long that's just going to be the inside of the cubby when I build the cargo bar so I painted the pieces of wood for inside the door I'm going to use the same wood. I had some left over. Cut that to size, two, two pieces, one on top of each other. And it should be nice and bright inside. So I cut it down a little longer. 
and then the side pieces will hold it on. So really it'll be easy if I had to get at the mechanism for the door to take apart. But it'll look clean and bright. So caught the corners and the edges. Paint it. Then I trimmed the outside. And that's going to be covered by a cargo box. About five inches out all the way around with a door and cup holders on top. I used to call them cargo boxes. So I'll get some buttons for the screws. I put maybe three in there because the cargo box will screw on over and hold it quite well. Trim the top out so the top I'll probably do with a lighter piece of wood and lighter material to catch the bend. And that's pretty deep down inside so always need space. So I picked up this pine wood. I like the way it um, the grain sort of divide it so I might do it in a natural. Keep it light. A couple pieces just to build the cargo bar. And some shelves for the inside. Once I start doing it you'll see what I'm thinking. Okay so I threw this together last night. I'm going to leave the top open for a cubby inside. I'm going to put another top on top of that with the cup holders in it. And when you open the doors, you have your cup holders outside and it should be cool. I stained it. I didn't really like natural because it was too, too plain. Just like the top basically. So there's my door that's going to fit in the middle. Got to get some cool hinges. Leaving the top open. I'm going to cut three holes in that for cup holders on top and some kind of blocking between the two to raise it whatever height. I'll let that dry while I cut holes in the top. So I picked up this three inch drill bit. The cup holders in my other van are two and three quarters but I find the newer stuff doesn't fit in there. Big size coffee cup or Gatorade bottle or something like that. So now I'm just going to line up and Put three holes centered, stain that, mount it, and have some cup holders. Something like that. I'm going to raise it up a little higher than that block. Probably going to try and find some spindle and cut it and put it in the middle there. So I bought these legs off of a, you know, bed or table. And as you can see, I trimmed that one. I'm going to cut that one, take that peg out, drill a hole through it, and use it as my spacer. Once I figure out what height, just walk the aisles of Home Depot and figure out. So I never know what I'm going to do actually, but I had these leftover tiles from um, doing the box top. And the blue trim just adds a little flare. I'm going to do down the sides, probably across. And that will be exposed in the van so that will look cool. And this will have a door. So I trimmed the rough edges of the pine. It's like a weird combination, but I think it'll tie in. I can always paint the box white if I have to. Put a coat of urethane on it and just sprayed it. It's a lot easier. It dries quite fast. Doing the other part separate. So I got a few coats of urethane on it. It's starting to shine up pretty nice. Put the top on. Used a couple buttons to cover the screw heads. Little cubby. And this is going to have the door. Just going to put these tiles on now. Similar to the box. Bought some hinges and a knob and some support so I'm going to try that out too. So the door is on, I found these hinges and then the darfish handle. Try to give that beach vibe. Now I got to put the door supports and put the tile on this. I recessed the screw so it won't interfere with the tile. Probably about 20 man hours believe it or not. So I got the hinges, the handle on, 
a tile on the top, and then I put a pull on it, come down like that. Little table, little countertop, outside when the van doors open, more than likely, but easy access to stuff inside. Now I'll just let that dry and then I'm gonna grout it. Gotta grout the top tile in the cabinet. A few little touch-ups and then mount it to the door. So that's how it's gonna sit. Still have to do the top of the door. But inside because I can't get at the bottom. I put a spacer underneath the cargo bar to hold it. And I marked two clamps. Drill them in first, slid the box in, now I can screw down easy. And I'm going to put two screws, one there and one there. And then there's my cubby. So you have the extra deep cubby with a shelf. And then because I went deep, I got another shelf. That's two. And then I got a shelf in there. And a cup, bottle, wine, whatever holder. And that's down. And that's with the door closed. So I have that much clearance after I put my floor in. I still can use the plug. But mostly the door will be open. And that's just for like charging a phone or something. And I also have that one back there. Not sure what I'm doing with the top of the door. Might line it up with that. Put a mirror there. So I mounted it. And that's gonna sit. Can't open it far because I'm against the wall in the garage. And there's my tabletop. Cargo bar. It's at a good height when you're outside standing on the ground. Coming together. Picked up these little button lamps, they're really cool. Get six in a pack, 20 bucks I think. They're small, where are we? Right there. It's got a little sticky on the back, you stick them, and it's got a little switch. Just flip it over. And I added them into the the cargo bar, I just stick it up there so I can flick it on. And the same with the inside. There it is. No wires running on the doors. 20 hours. I have to figure out how much cash I spent on it. Wood's really expensive right now. 30 bucks worth of tiles. Probably 30 bucks worth of trim. Easily 70 bucks worth of wood. So it's not cheap. Let the curb dry and wipe her down. A few touch ups on it and I'm gonna move on to something else.